Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> that was an attractive way to start the fucking video, wasn't it? Hey, it's Demo, and today we're gonna talk about some gay shit. Well, not just gay shit. We want to include everybody. Everybody. But yeah, some gay shit. So I'm not really sure how this happened, because I never planned for it to happen, but somehow I've become kind of an ambassador slash helpline for people trying to find themselves in the LGBTQ plus community. And a lot of the time I get asked, how do I find myself in the LGBTQ plus community? Fucking crazy that, I wouldn't expect that question. Now I understand this is really subjective, to some people it's super important, to others they just don't give a crap. And I feel you. I don't give a crap about a lot of things, most of which I definitely should. But for those of you who do give a crap, this video is for you. Ah! And uh, hopefully it can help in some small way. So let's get into it. Firstly, I really need to clarify. You are not defined by your sexuality. Okay? Shut up outside people. I'm being serious. Your sexuality is merely a part of who you are, what makes you up as a person. It doesn't dictate the way you think, behave, act, anything like that. But at the same time, never shy away from being a stereotype if that's who you actually are. In fact, fuck unwanted opinions, just do what makes you happy. Fuck it all. Fuck all of it. <laughs> it's tricky sometimes, trying to give just enough shits without giving too many. Now if you want to find your place in the community, you need to find somewhere where you're comfortable and somewhere that's actually relevant to your interests, because sitting in a room full of gay people where the only thing you have in common is that you're gay, is incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> I've literally been there. I've had friends groups that I thought were friends groups but really were just people I had one thing in common with and that does not make comfortable feeling, that does not do good, that doesn't happy. You know? However, don't be surprised if you have a very similar experience towards the start. I mean, most people will just take what they can get and it'll take a long time before you realize that's not really what you wanted. Or maybe just a few seconds if they're really that shit. A good start is to go to events that you would go to anyway and then just kind of look slash listen for the LGBTQ plus members at that event. Trust me, you'll fucking hear them. Once you lock onto your targets, you can make your way over and just introduce yourself. Try not to be too off-putting. I know it's a struggle. <laughs> A daily struggle. Then maybe ask if they have an LGBTQ plus group dedicated to that particular event. Most of the time they will. Take the Sydney Gamers, for example. Gay... Mers. I went once. Also, if you've got a slightly more specific sexual identity, maybe try and use that to connect with other people. It'll narrow down the scope, make everything a little bit less overwhelming and a little bit more focused for you. Of course, never feel the need to stick with your people. Segregation in the LGBTQ plus community is real and it is incredibly stupid. Oh fuck, I hate that society doesn't accept me for the way that I am. Oh, me too. Maybe we should bond over that. No, oh, fuck you. You're very slightly different from me. You freak. <sighs> Now, if you're still having trouble finding anything, just Google it. I'm not even joking. Google is, like, scarily powerful. You'll probably find something. There's so many communities online. You could try Facebook and search for local groups, or you could even go through Twitter hashtags if you don't mind the possibility of an existential crisis, since you realize just how shit everything is. Twitter does that to me a lot. <laughs> and then if all of that still hasn't worked, well, your boy's got your back, I've got you, the hookup guys. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, there's an app for that. Well, Amino actually reached out to me and told me about their LGBTQ plus app, which has an online community that's really easy to access, full of knowledge, full of experience, people to connect with, all of that good shit. The app is super simple to use and you can get it from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, or the black- no, you can't get it on blackberries. Why do you have a blackberry? Also, the icon for the app is rainbow, and that's gay AF, so I'm kind of really here for that. Like, really here for it. Mostly because I don't like leaving my house, but I'd be here for it anyway. Once you've installed the app, you'll notice there are a plethora of sub-communities on the app itself, ranging from everything to different sexualities, different interests outside the LGBTQ plus community, absolutely everything, and they're all managed by users of the app themselves. Amino is really easy to use and honestly is a great resource for those trying to find themselves within the LGBTQ plus community. So I would really recommend giving it a go, you can always delete it, and it's free. I love free. Link is in the description to check it out. If you personally have any other ways to find yourself in the LGBTQ plus community, feel free to let everyone know in the comments, or if you just want to tell a story about the first time you really like connected with someone else in a community you're a part of, that would be awesome too. Just leave some goddamn comments.
Thank you so much to Amino for sponsoring this video. It's always a pleasure to work with you guys and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell so I can annoy you more directly, like straight to your phone. Uh, and other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. So I will see you in the next one, but until then, fuck off.